Hi, people. I will attempt to offer one explanation for the two reflections that are supposedly seen in the YouTube videos entitled <gasps> Moon Hoax Apollo 14 Moonset Light Rig, aka Two Suns in Visor, <sighs> and Moon Hoax The Lies in Your Visors Part 2 trailer, posted by YouTuber Green Magoose. An Apollo lunar excursion visor assembly gives the astronauts three layers of protection. The first layer is a pressurized glass bubble that's basically clear and commonly referred to as the fishbowl. The second is a reddish-brown tinted layer called the protective visor. And the third layer is the gold-coated visor assembly used to minimize ultraviolet rays. It's like a big pair of shiny sunglasses. Our intrepid YouTuber Green Magoose no relation to Mr. Magoo, I don't think, believes he sees two suns reflected in these visors. Well, I am not doubting that he sees something, but I strongly believe that he is not seeing two light sources. Instead, he is probably seeing one light source reflected off of two layered surfaces. He's seeing the sun striking the visor assembly at an oblique angle, which shows in a reflection from each layer of the visor assembly. A simple demonstration in my darkened office should help us. I carefully placed a single light source at the approximate angle the Apollo data acquisition camera would have been to the passing astronaut Edgar Mitchell. Then I placed the smaller of two Pyrex bowls on my futon. As you can see, the single light source shows up as a single reflection. However, when the larger bowl is placed over the smaller, I suddenly have two reflections. Just like in the Apollo 14 footage, there is a smaller, fainter reflection and then a larger, brighter reflection on the outside bowl on the right. Unfortunately, Green Magoose wouldn't accept this video as a reply to his charge that NASA staged the moonwalk with two lighting sources, unless I did the video his way using mirrored sunglasses. Well, alright, let's give it a try and see if he is a man of his word. Now I've turned off all but one light source here in my office and if you look into this first pair of neutrally tinted sunglasses you can see that light source reflected. It's right there. Alright, see that? Well, um, I guess what we're asking is what happens if I cover these sunglasses with the highly reflective mirrored sunglasses, will it obliterate completely that uh, reflection on these glasses, on the, the regular sunglasses? Will it eliminate it? Will it uh, cause it to be uh, impossible to see? Well, let's find out. Go ahead and cover these. Now, what do you know? Look at that. You, you still do see the reflection. It's smaller, but it's still there. Now we see, we appear to see two reflections. Hmm, that looks very similar to what we see on Edgar Mitchell's helmet visor in the Apollo 14 footage. Hmm. Whether astronaut Ed Mitchell has his sun visor down or not, light passes through each visor. If it didn't, he'd fall all over the place. He'd be blind. Against a very dark background, whatever light is reflected off of either surface will be visible. While the Apollo doubting community suspects there are two light sources, it simply doesn't add up. For example, if these are artificial light sources, why would such light sources be put so close together? And if we can distinguish two light sources, shouldn't we also be able to see two shadows? Well, consider this shadow demonstration. I put this disc spindle on a desk in my darkened office and I lit it with only one light source. And as predicted, there's only one shadow behind the post of the spindle. When I place a smaller flashlight very closely next to the main source of light, suddenly a second shadow appears next to the first. I repeated this demonstration using a candlestick at a further distance. You can see by the reflection in the bowl that while the two light sources are hard to distinguish from each other, nonetheless, the extra shadow can still be seen. There is no example of an object in Apollo photographs casting two shadows on the lunar surface. I'm sure Green Magoose and his friends will never run out of objections, but insisting that they can divine alleged secrets out of reading astronaut visors is like a seer reading entrails gets pretty pathetic.
Doubters get excited about Pfizer reflections. That's fine. Frankly, the visors are dusty, there's multiple reflective surfaces, different kinds of visors, and light can do different things in different camera optics. Do they truly believe that someone attempting to fake a lunar mission would haphazardly ignore these reflections that would reveal some alleged hoax? That's my take. I'll leave the rest there for you to discuss.